three characters in Return of the Jedi. It's Simon J. Williamson. Simon, how did it start for you? It wasn't with those three, was it? Uh, originally, I was hired as a puppeteer, which meant I could have been called on to do any number of characters in Jabba the Hutt's palace, principally. And uh, I started out with one character, which I don't think survived into the movie at all, after I left... Um, doing that bit. Um, I don't know what it's called. He's a kind of brown slug-like thing with a, a long snout and um, six red eyes, three on each side of the snout. Uh, at a certain point, Phil Tippett, who was in charge of the um, the creature shop there, uh, I think he'd wanted to be inside Max Rebo, and he discovered it was just too tight for him. So uh, I was a bit smaller, so he said, do you want to have a go? And I thought, well, there's a, a, blight, a bright blue character in the middle of a very dark set. He's bound to have a lot of um, impact. And he was fun. He looked fun. So I got in him and uh, I took home a, a cassette recording of the music the night before. And I practiced, you know, as if I was playing keyboards. And the next day we shot. Were you positioned inside that or were you manipulating it from the outside? Well, because I was hired as a puppeteer, people think he's a puppet. And so the implication is there that your head, your hand is controlling the head mm. or he's a marionette, which is strings from above. And he was more like a, a full body suit. And because um, fans ask me about this, I drew a little photograph which shows my position inside Max Rebo. The, the blue line on the outside is the uh, outer edge of Max's, Max's shape. So my head is kind of beside, behind where his eyes are, and my hands are in the hands of Max Rebo. That must have been even hotter in that suit too. Yeah, that was, that was particularly difficult because not only was it very tight and therefore hot, but I couldn't see anything. And uh, they communicated with me by uh, an earphone in one ear. And after a day, uh, it pushed back a whole load of earwax against my eardrum. So I was effectively almost deaf in that ear. And because I wasn't registered with a, with a, a doctor, I had to register with a doctor back in the centre of town on a day off before, I could, before they could authorise the medical unit at the studio to syringe my ears. So I was kind of deaf for nearly a week. That's big stuff. It was. It's, you know, I've, I've recovered now, you know. But, uh, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. And the Max Rebo character is actually quite big then, so if you can fit right inside there, he's pretty humongous. Yeah, yeah. The character wasn't, wasn't fully formed, so below the waist there was really nothing. I sort of, so I kept coming into the costume from underneath. And, in fact, the Max Rebo costume was placed over the organ that he plays, and I came in under the set, which is typical of any puppeteering movie. There's, there's a lot of stuff under the set. All the puppets and hand puppets are kind of controlled from under the set. Much more to come about Simon's other two big characters, including a great laugh he had as the Rancor's Gamorrean guard victim. Subscribe, because it's coming in another vid. Catch you soon.